morning. We're with the guys at Industrial Steel Construction here in Gary, Indiana, putting together some bridge sections here. And we've got some eye bars here. We've got some boxes and some girders, some knuckles. So a bunch of measurement today. And uh, what I wanted to do is show you guys the difference, though, between the 3 to one coordinate system and the perpendicular intersect. Both of those are very similar, but I want to show you the distinct differences between them. And we've got multiple examples of those at this, uh, at this measurement session here. So I'm going to just grab one of those, uh, those examples though and show you the difference. So we're going to find a place that's a little bit warmer. We're going to find a place that's a little bit quieter. And then we'll get into that. We've got um, X open today with an SCE file. So let's try and find a spot where we can get cozy and do it. So hang tight. The perpendicular intersect and the 3 2, 1 are very, very similar, and we bounce between both of those coordinate systems quite frequently in CAM2 measure. But what I wanted to show was the difference between both of those coordinate systems. Now I'll zoom in just a little bit down here. We were actually uh, measuring on a bridge, on a portion of a bridge, and we were actually measuring the bridge knuckle for a bridge that's going to be going on down to New Orleans here. These five pins, or these five circles here, will represent the, uh, the pins that are going into the knuckle on this bridge component. And you can see here the knuckle face plane I've got as a plane that's right here. And then what we've done is measured these five pins all the way around that hold onto these, uh, onto these girders or onto these boxes on the, on the bridge sections. I'll zoom out just a little bit here to this section right here is one of those boxes that we were measuring on. And we've actually measured on the vertical face and formed a line out of that vertical face. And you can kind of see that. I'll zoom in here. The vertical face line on this box section known as the 3005 made up of this blue line here. Well, my client actually wanted to have the origin on this line. So... And, and actually, it had to go through this, this pin here, known as pin E. So what I've done is I've kind of shown the, uh, the values for the X component here um, as a zero. So it looks like the, the origin is going through that as, as far as the X component is concerned. But the line had to be the origin for the Y component. Okay, well, the way I've done that, I'll go to review features. Since that alignment is already in the, in the FCE model here, I'll show you what I've done. I'll go up to review features here and then I'll scroll down to the coordinate system. Okay, coordinate system one, I'll go to the to the details tab here a second to show you that. The coordinate system is constructed um, out of the knuckle face, the face plane. I'll move this out of the way just a little bit here, which is this plane here. You have to have a plane to start that off. So that plane starts us with the three, as if it was a three, two, one, but that would be the three component or the plane. And then what I've got is this 3005 vertical face line. And that's going to be right here. The line that's formed by this box, by the side of that box. So there's my line. And then I've got pin E, which is the single point. I'm going to move this guy over a little bit more. But um, it's going to be the single point that's formed by this pin here, since that is a point reducible feature. So I do like that. The perpendicular intersect, what it does, I'll cancel out of that just a second. What it does is it takes the origin from this pin and it actually moves it perpendicular to the line. So my origin is actually on the line. So the perpendicular intersect is used to move the origin to the line that's used in the, in the coordinate system. So I like that. That's exactly what my client wanted to see. He wanted the X component to be a zero, which shows up here, and the Y component to be zero. But now if I was to choose the 3, 2, 1 coordinate system, I would do construct coordinate system and then 3, 2, 1. Now with the 3, 2, 1, 
It's going to ask for a plane as well. I could go and pick on the knuckle face plane. And then I'd set up with the line defined axes as being this 3005 vertical face line. But then my origin, I would like to be pin E. So if I scroll down, there it is, pin E. Now, if I was to view this and not be committed to the coordinate system, if I went to view it, notice what shows up. I'm going to move this out of the way just a little bit. In the version X here, it highlights all the features that are going to be used in that coordinate system. So I've got the knuckle plane highlighted red. I've got that line here, the vertical face line red, plus the origin of pin E. But look at where my coordinate system lies. I'll zoom in just a little bit more. My coordinate system origin is going to go right to the middle point of that, of that pin E. So it's a little bit different than what I've got here for the perpendicular intersect, which shows up on the line of the vertical face line. So both are very, very useful coordinate systems to, uh, to use to align this part uh, to some dimensions on your drawing or to align it to a CAD model at some point. But I just wanted to show you guys the difference between the perpendicular intersect, which my client wanted here, and the 3, 2, 1. Now I've got another module that will show that 3, 2, 1 coordinate system, so be sure to check that one out as well. But this is just a comparison between the two.